Good afternoon. Um, welcome. Let me check. Yes, there we go. Welcome to my daily broadcast. My name is Barry Selby, and um, what else? Oh yeah, I'll show you what I do. Who I am? I'm a best. <laughs> I'm a best-selling author, speaker, and relationship attraction expert, helping strong, successful women find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion of the divine feminine, and every day I do a talk called "Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart," and today is no different. Um, welcome to Messages from the Masculine number 336. Yeah. Um, this one is inspired from a conversation earlier. And it's funny, I just saw a post on Facebook as I did this one from a friend of mine. So this might play into what I read from her post. Um, but the way I'm theming this is um, never forgive them. That's the road to hell. There is a better way and I'm offering it to you. So let me speak about that first. Um, there are... <clears throat> I'll say it's another way. Let's start with the big stuff. Well, let's start with the big stuff or the small stuff. You've been in relationships, I'm sure, where the other person, they, <clears throat> did something that really violated your trust. I'm going to see another piece in a moment. I've got another piece dropping in, but I'm not, it's not ready for you yet. Um, where they broke, they lied to you, or they broke the agreement with you, or they said they'd do something, they didn't do it, or they cheated on you, or they did something that was totally against what you thought they stood for, and it really pissed you off. And you vowed in that moment that they didn't deserve your forgiveness. In fact, you wanted to judge them and hope they went to hell. It doesn't work. And I get to that in a moment. But the other piece I want to drop in, because it just hit me right at the way, is... Um, have you been in a relationship, in fact, you probably have, where you've, in fact, done something to somebody else? You lied to them, or you cheated on them, or you did something else. So I want to make sure we get this clear. That I'm talking about both sides of the conversation, where somebody else did it to you, and you did it to somebody else. Because doing something that is upsetting to you internally, which could be either one, is a painful process to go through when you're not willing to let go of it. And I'll get to that in a moment. But let me put it back into the context. Because I've got clients, several of them in fact, who've had some really heinous relationship experiences. I've had a few of my own as well. And to be totally transparent, I've done things that I shouldn't have done in past relationships, as have my girlfriends at the time, done some things to me or not, that I judge them for accordingly as well. Yes, yes, exactly, Marla. Yeah. <laughs> I mentioned that I just saw a post on Facebook that was aligned to what I was talking about. So hopefully this will speak to that. When trust is violated since speaking about that, it can be extremely painful. And I've been there, so I know what it feels like. And in relationship, especially intimate relationship, now, it could be about employment stuff, it could be about tradesmen even, where it's annoying. <clears throat> but in primary relationship, that's where it gets really painful, because that's when the closeness happens. The, the other person, you and the other person, the other person, your, your lover, get so close, so intimate, that you feel like there's transparency, there's a unity there there's a connection there that transcends everything else and then they do something stupid like lying to you or cheating on you or whatever it is and you feel totally violated which is totally understandable by the way that violation is because somehow you've gone from total intimacy and trust to total don't know them and don't and distance from them and it can get painful and the temptation is to judge the bejesus out of them and damn them to hell. So never forgive them, you know. But as I said in the second piece of my introduction, never forgive them, it's the quickest way to hell. Not for them, but for you. And this is the piece I want to get to, which is the biggest piece, and it's not the most talked about piece either. Because for most people, this is an alien topic. Because when I talk about the word, talk about the context of forgiveness, people say, well, only, only God can forgive, or only um, the priest can forgive me, something like that. Well, here's the secret. Anybody can forgive themselves, which means you can forgive yourself for something that happened in the past. Now, I'm going to explain this in a way that hopefully makes sense, because it's one of the most freeing and liberating things you can do when you know how to do it. And first of all, you don't know you can do it. So let me explain a couple of things. 
let me use the analogy. I've used this many times before, but this is the analogy that I've used in talking about judgments. When we place judgments against other people because they screwed us over or did what they did. Judgment, same as resentment, is like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. Let me say that one again. Judgment, like, for, like resentment, is the same as, is, is as if you would take poison expecting the other person to die. They don't get affected. You do. And this is why forgiveness is such a key thing. Yes, exactly, Marley. Yes, the, the, the path to freedom is forgiveness. And, and more, but I'll get to that in a second too. So thank you for on, being on the same page. Forgiveness is presumed to be something where you let somebody else off the hook. And it's like, turn the other cheek if you use the Bible as a reference, which personally I don't, um, but that's me. And then I lost some viewers who go, you don't believe in the Bible? It's like, I didn't say that. But that's another topic for another time completely. So forgiveness, in, but using the Bible as a context, forgiveness in the Bible is a spiritual type principle that is only given by spiritual people and therefore you have to forgive them for, for they know not what they do. Well, yes and no. Forgiveness actually is one of the best personal get-out-of-hell cards I know of. Now, I'm going to explain... Don't, don't mean get out of jail, but it's like that. It's get out of, get out of hell. Because when you judge somebody else, and you can relate to this, I know, because I've been there and I know what it's like and I've had clients go through this. When you're in judgment of somebody else because they did something to you, in quotes, because they did something you didn't agree with, like they violated your trust by lying to you or by whatever they did, you sit in judgment of that person, and it might feel righteous, in fact. It might feel good. I'm judging them. I feel good about it. What you're doing, though, is destroying yourself, energetically and physically. Judgment has been proven in scientific research. I don't have them handy to give you the articles. If I find them, I'll tell you about them. To actually cause toxins in your system. Judgment is a toxic... Uh, a Toxicating? No, that's the wrong word. But basically what it does is it messes up your system. It makes your... Um, Ability to live freely, limited. So judging is not good for your health, period. And so if you're carrying judgments about somebody else, they're oblivious, unless you tell them all the time, which you may or may not do, because if you've broken up with them, you probably won't talk to them. You're carrying this, this seething wound inside of, of judgment that is, tox is toxic to you and hurting you whilst they live free. Where's the justice in that? So forgiveness is justice for yourself. It's not about the other person. Yes, you may hope the other person gets hit by a truck or gets cheated on as well or gets lied to as well or whatever it is you are running in your head as your judgments. But the reality is, it is absolutely not serving you. So, forgiveness is a tool. It's a methodology. It's a get-out-of-hell key that gets you out of that trap you put yourself in when you start judging in the first place. Forgiveness is a big deal. Not big as in only big people can do it, it's a big deal because it's an access tool to have you get free of all the pain and suffering you've been carrying forever. If you've got judgments you're placed against your parents, for example, that you've judged for the last 20, 30, 40 years, that's not doing you any good. And especially if your parents have passed away, because some of us have, maybe have lost parents, that judgment isn't going to make a difference about them. So why do you still carry it inside yourself? So... Judgment on any level is a restriction of your ability to live free. It's a contraction of your health and ability to live whole. And it's a... Um, sorry, I said judgment, didn't I? Yes, judgment. Make sure I didn't say anything. Judgment and lack of forgiveness, and make sure context is right, is a guaranteed way to ruin your life. Again, like resentment, judgment is like taking poison and expecting the other person to die. That analogy brings true because, because speaking energetically it's what you're doing. You're poisoning yourself. I think you get my point. I think I've drilled this point home and made it clear to you so you got the point. So, what to do? First of all, recognize that you can actually forgive yourself. Actually, first of all, recognize you've got judgments because until you know your judgments, there's no point in doing forgiveness. Um, if you don't judge, you don't need to forgive. But 99.9% .9 of everybody on the planet judges. So forgiveness is handy. And it's a good tool to keep in your pocket, as it were, to use whenever you need to. Now, here's the thing about it. I've got, in fact, if you want to know how to do forgiveness, I've actually got some, um, I've got two, well, one myself and one is one you can get online as well, um, two practices you can use for forgiveness and I'll explain that you can, I'll tell you to get those in a moment. But the thing is that um, 
Forgiveness works best when it's not in the head. I think it's going to make sense. Forgiveness, for most people, they think you're just going to just like pay, li pay lip service to it, and it's not going to work that way. Forgiveness is something you do in the heart. And I mean is that you need to be connected to your, your emotions, your true feelings, ideally a level of compassion and caring from where you can do forgiveness. Because if you just say, I forgive myself for whatever it is, it's like nothing it doesn't stick. It's like throwing paper at something. It won't stick. So forgiveness has to be fueled by your feelings of compassion and care. Okay, I've got to do this. Um, I need to put this on the table too because this is part of this is, it's a two it's a one two punch as well. It's a two part piece that I I use with my clients and I'm going to get, tell you what it's about so you actually have a step forward. And if you want to know how to do this, I can show you to do that too. So to get to that place of heart centered compassion. It's not easy to go from the anger and upset to the heart center compassion like that. It takes some effort. There's a way that works best. Well, no, I say it works best. There's a way that I recommend that if you've got some deep-seated, old-fashioned, buried, um, maybe um, atrophied judgment you've been carrying since you were 10 years old and it's still in there, the way I recommend doing it is a thing that I learned from my master's degree program at University of Santa Monica. That I call it fluid writing. It's based on what they call freeform writing is their terminology. I call it fluid writing. And basically what it is is a way of venting out the stuck emotions that will free you from the trap of that judgment and hurt and upset feelings. Once you've done that, it moves you into place for compassion usually. Maybe sadness, maybe love, maybe peace. But usually it's compassion. All those good feelings, by the way. Once you've done that practice... Then you can do the forgiveness from a place that is connected to your heart. And then forgiveness from that place actually has impact. It transforms your experience and it releases you from those traps of limitation, judgment and hurt feelings. I'm not going to explain all those in the video because it's easy if you read them um, and work through them yourself. If you want to work through, with, through them with somebody, I can do that with you. But if you want to find out what those are, I'm just going to, I'm just going to say this because um, I just sent them to one of my clients. I just reformatted them to make them more usable. And if you want those, you can send me a message over social media. Um, another way of doing it? Well, I'll put it in this context. There's something you're dealing with, you're going to work through this. I, I make this offer every day in my broadcast. But if you want to get support, I invite you to go to my website, which is barryselby.com, which is my name. And if you go to the Let's Chat, if you click on the Let's Chat in the, in the left hand side of the menu, you can sign up for a discovery session. And there, mention you want to get help in this area. And I'll give you some help. If this is a topic that speaks to you, please put comments below. I'd work. I'd invite you to do that. I'm looking at, sorry, I'm looking at frame this as a complete. I think I've given you enough information. I've given you an access to get the documentation so you can do it yourself. And, oh yes. Please share this with anybody else who should watch this because somebody else may need to see this that may be judging and not being free and this could help them. Second thing is, this is one of my regular daily broadcasts. It's number 336. So all of these broadcasts end up on my business page, which is barryselby.author on Facebook. They're also on my YouTube channel, which is Barry Selby, and the playlist is Messages of the Masculine. And they're also on my website under video blog. Again, my website is barryselby.com. Um, your homework. I think you can guess where this is going. If you're carrying judgments, if you're feeling somewhat you resent somebody, anybody in your life, be it a tradesman, be it a past lover, be it a parent, be it a government official, um, I recommend you look into doing some forgiveness. And if you want to start journaling on what is in the way of that for you, go ahead and do that. That might get started. But then after that, reach out to me. Um, again, on my website, go to get, click on the Let's Chat. That'll give you a chance to get to my complimentary clarity conversation, and we can work on this. This is not easy stuff, but it's also important stuff. So don't, I, I'm going to say this another way. Do take this seriously, but also take it to heart. Your freedom, as Mara posted on here, the path to freedom is forgiveness, and you can have that yourself. You don't require some deity or some religious leader to give it to you. You can do it yourself, and I can help you with that. You can do it yourself, but I can help you. You can do it yourself. I can help you by giving you the, the practices to do it with. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks for being with me. This one is a more tense, sensitive topic, perhaps, but hopefully it will speak to you and help you with what you want. I'll be back, back in tomorrow. Um, I think 5 p.m. is becoming my time. We'll see what happens this week. I've been changing the time to see what fits best. And uh, as always, take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow.